Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to dive into the hurricane season, the list of names, and a few videos ago, I was mentioning Freddie. That made landfall in Madagascar and Mozambique. That's actually making a comeback, kind of a crazy system. I'm going to show you the global perspective just ahead. But in March, we're now in March, uh, a one-name system. So on record, one-name system has been out there. This was back in 1908. It did greatly impact, though, the Caribbean. Winds were, it wasn't just even a tropical storm. It was a Category 2 hurricane. Winds were at 160 kilometers an hour, or 100 miles per hour, 200 millimeters of rain, or 8 inches of rain. Lots of damage to crops. And an unusual path, of course, unusual itself, being that it was a hurricane in March. So this is 1908. Here's Jamaica. Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. It moved very close to Anguilla and uh, down through St. Kitts and Nevis, impacting uh, the Virgin Islands. Lots of crop damage, but it started up here in the Atlantic and shot down to the southwest and moved into the Caribbean before dissipating as it got closer to uh, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Uh, close to St. Martin and then again St. Kitts and Nevis. That's when it was a Category uh, 2 hurricane, so those winds of 160 kilometers an hour packing a big punch and again lots of the way of flooding and uh, damage as this rolled through back in 1908 but crop damage a huge impact with that now that's rare so things do happen but a little bit more so april and the may now the hurricane season starts june 1st i want you to know though that i'm on top of it for you because in just about two months things get active uh, so if we have an early start to the season, we could see something popping up in April. And then again in May, usually every other year, there's a name system. So again, it's not too far away. I got you covered on this channel. That's why I do this channel for safety. Of course, uh, early in the season, we look close to home. Uh, Bahamas for old fronts and again closer to home where the water temperatures warm quicker and then later in the season the peak of the season September 10th and uh, like last season hopefully it shuts off last season we have that historic flooding in November as we got over toward Trinidad and Tobago so lots to cover got you covered as we go throughout the season I want to get into this forecast in just a second of the Caribbean but first let me show you the global perspective all right, diving down into the Caribbean, and again, as that sun came up this morning, you can see this imagery here, which i like to show you. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Belize right here, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, scattered clouds, and you see that easterly flow. This is some high-resolution stuff that I'll use, of course, during the uh, hurricane season, tracking things for you. Puerto Rico, Anguilla, Guadalupe, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, and Grenada. Again, some of those scattered clouds, and we know we have been way too dry, but let me take you around the globe and what we're seeing as a whole, and something really interesting I'm going to take you across the, uh, by the way, here's the rest of the Atlantic later in the hurricane. Once we get into the hurricane season and deep into the hurricane season, usually starting really August, we look well out into the Atlantic off the coast of Africa, but that is where we keep an eye on some of that, uh, some of that, uh, dust that has been coming our way. All right, let's get a look at this. It is active out here as we work our way into a different basin. This is the Indian ocean, a few systems out here. This one highly interesting because this one, uh, this was what was Freddie. And again, a few videos ago, I was tracking this. Let me zoom down, show you what's the latest on this. And this is what happened. Here's Madagascar. Here's Mozambique. Freddie itself worked its way into Madagascar and then back into Mozambique kind of fell apart. Now it's working its way back off the coast, redeveloping. And in this hemisphere, southern hemisphere, things spin the other way. And then this will strengthen uh, further and then make another landfall coming back at Madagascar on the west coast of Madagascar, very unusual. And you see here, again, I don't expect it to get crazy strong or anything like that because it did churn up the waters as it went across. But it should be a tropical depression, bring more rain and still into central and southern sections of Madagascar. And then elsewhere out there, watching a few things here. Let me widen out the picture just a touch for you. And you can see here again in the Indian Ocean, seeing a few uh, swirls out there. For the most part, most of the the rest of the action has been missing land. But here's Australia. And to give you a global perspective on the uh, season ongoing, another system out here, this is Judy. And Judy was stronger. And again, the winds were really increasing. It got up to 100 miles per hour. So that's about uh, 150 to about 170 kilometers an hour. And there are islands out here uh, that have been watching this closely. And again, uh, Judy itself uh, made its way 
way down to the south and again is falling apart, but it did uh, have winds of 125 miles per hour. So I keep an eye on things around the globe and things are tied together to what's going on in the Caribbean uh, tropical wise, because sometimes when one of the basins or oceans is active, another one's quiet. Sometimes when it's quiet or vice versa, sometimes when it's quiet in one spot, it's more active in another. So again, I've been looking far ahead into the hurricane season, watching everything out there. And I'll get into those forecasts, as I mentioned earlier, as we get a little bit closer to the upcoming season. But right now, I want to shift our attention back into the Caribbean. All right, let's get a look back in the Caribbean. The rain today, Guyana, Suriname, we'll see that chance of rain. The easterly flow with us still bringing in some of that dust. We'll be watching that dust that does pull through. So again, keep me posted in the comments if you have some of the dust elsewhere not a lot, just a spotty shower possible. Now into tomorrow, uh, even tonight, by the way, we can see a quick little shower, Aruba, uh, Barbados by tomorrow. Uh, tonight, though, a little more moisture around the ABC Islands, but by tomorrow, you see Trinidad and Tobago, better chance of seeing a shower. One or two Montserrat, but again, southern tier, better chance. Not a lot in Belize, mainly dry in Jamaica. If we see something, it would only be that very stray chance of a passing shower. With that, we are baking across Haiti. 93 degrees Fahrenheit, 34 degrees Celsius, mainly dry. That rain chance staying low the next few days from Port-au-Prince back through Jacmel. Winds out of the north at 24 kilometers an hour or 15 miles per hour. Let me bring you back to Dominica, uh, a light layer of that dust. Uh, we had that yesterday. We'll see that again today. Small, small rain chance. Winds east, 24 kilometers an hour, 27 degrees Celsius. All right, let me get into the name storms for the upcoming hurricane season in the Atlantic uh, Basin. It'll start off with Arlene. That'll be the first name system. Then Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, and Gert after that. So it's rare to get something in March. Again, we're not in the hurricane season, but as we get into April and especially May, things can pop up. I'll be monitoring everything out there. I'm watching the overall conditions because it now starts to play into our hurricane season, where those water temperatures are, what we're seeing as far as the dryness out there in the atmosphere. And I'm going to keep you posted in some of the long-term forecasts on this channel as we get a little bit closer to the hurricane season, what I'm looking at, where those storms will mainly be tracking. I'll keep you covered right here. Have a great day.